what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below it's for you only <laughs> and if you like my other videos then watch all the other videos that you have not watched and if you are wanting to do or have a personal consultation with me then please mail me in my email which is there below in the comments or send me a message in whatsapp and if you are interested in doing some donation then you also have the link to paypal all right today what i'm going to discuss is very important for our spiritual progress for example the topic of today is mantra it is not mantra as this mantra or that mantra it is not a topic like which mantra we should chant what i'm going to speak here today is simply knowing what the mantra is knowing the meaning of the mantra and knowing should we at all chant it or if we are supposed to chant it chant it properly and do not twist or turn or elongate or compress the mantra because mantra is the fifth house in astrology it is the house of the gain of the mind second from the fourth house is the fifth house that means what happens after you are mentally stable that is the fifth house when you are stable mentally you are happy because fifth house is the house of happiness now fifth house is also the house of the mantra because it represents mana trayati means that which delivers the mind of all anxieties sorrow suffering misery pain etc also fifth house has things like children etc love romance etc creativity all these traits which we all know so here recently a person had contacted me and he told me that he was chanting a particular mantra and then he twisted it and he turned it he reversed it he changed some words from here to there and after that he's telling me that there's only havoc in his life it's very dangerous to twist mantras because mantras are like the passwords of a system when you enter the computer you have to give the right password what happens sometimes if you give too many wrong passwords the system gets blocked right it doesn't allow you to give passwords more than thrice more than five times in some places in some places it is even two times <laughs> so what happens is in our case when we twist the mantra as per our convenience just by the whimsical nature of our own mind as the shrimad bhagavatam says manorathena sati dhavato bahi means we are going in the chariot of our mind going from here going from there from paris to berlin to london to new delhi to los angeles <laughs> mano ratha mano rathe na sati dhavato bahi mano ratha means when we walk with the whimsical chariot of the mind which always keeps wandering from flickering places to places and we end up doing certain blunders that's what is the meaning of the word manorathe na sati dhavato bahi so what this gentleman well i have to call him a gentleman <laughs> this gentleman was supposed to chant and he was suggested by a guru by an astrologer or some guru that chant this mantra om namah shivaya all right Om Namah Shivaya you should chant maybe 5 malas in the morning mala means 108 rounds and then 5 malas in the evening and that is very good he told me that should i chant this and then i said yes this is right as per the procedure but then later on he told me that <laughs> this is very bad with what he did is instead of chanting om namah shivaya he whimsically liked the verse a bit twisted he said hey, why to chant om namah shiva let's chant om shivaya namah <laughs> seems very simple right not much difference it looks the same om namah shivaya and om shivaya namah but 
there is a difference of heaven and hell between this as in hindi you say zameen aasman ka farak hai dono mein <laughs> because what is the meaning of the word om namah shivaya in the mantra om namah shivaya means om it is an address to the almighty and namah means we are offering our obeisances our prayers unto lord shiva and namah shivaya shivaya is lord shiva that means whenever you are offering your obeisances to somebody the other person is at a higher position than ours yes otherwise you do not go and offer obeisances to the person now when you say om namah shivaya it means you are accepting lord shiva in a mood of awe and reverence reverence means he is a great personality i am insignificant in front of him and i bow my life soul everything in front of him that's what is the meaning of reverence that means you are keeping distance from lord shiva because reverence is always having distance reverence and intimacy do not go well together that is why if you are too close with a person you tend to take him or her cheaply or lightly or you do not value that person very much but when you are maintaining distance when you have reverence for example if you see some big celebrity from far you'll be like yes that is the great uh, so and so xyz personality or maybe some political leader but what happens is when you get close now because there's a familiarity breeds contempt you t- tend to take the person cheaply and then what happens you lose the respect and you don't value the person too much not the way you used to value him or her earlier <laughs> that's what is the meaning of the mantra om namah shivaya you are asking protection from lord shiva that please protect me please bless me from far <laughs> you are wanting reverence and protection but from distance all right you are not wanting love and intimacy from him now which is the mantra for love and intimacy in matters of lord shiva it is om shivaya nama because when you chant om shivaya nama what it means is om is the same but now what you are doing is you are telling shiva first and nama later all right first one is om namah shivaya the second one is om shivaya namah that means in the second mantra what you are doing is you are projecting yourself to be closer to lord shiva first and then you are saying i offer you my obeisances which means you prefer staying close to lord shiva yes because you are saying shiva first then you are saying namah that means you are going towards lord shiva and then you are saying i like you <laughs> <laughs> but in the first mantra you are saying om namah shiva oh i like you from distance now which mantra seems more appealing is it om namah shiva or is it om shiva namah think and say do not just answer it seems om shiva namah is very appealing but unfortunately it is very dangerous to chant that because do you know the story of lord shiva and kamadev Kamadev is the god of sexuality love romance etc he once tried to awaken lord shiva of his penance in a wrong time it it was not the scheduled time for uh, his uh, penance to be finished but kamadev due to some reason because there was demon tarakasur who got this benediction from lord brahma that only lord shiva's son can kill him and that is why the demigods wanted lord shiva to come out of his penance so that he could unite with mother parvati and then his son could apparently kill tarakasur and for that they needed the help of kamadev who was the god of sexuality and he was entrusted with this duty to wake lord shiva from his penance by the use of his arrows of love romance sexuality etc but then kamdev unfortunately could not do that because lord shiva is a yogi nobody can disturb him even kamdev but when lord shiva came to know that somebody is disturbing him like this he opened his third eye and he burned him completely which goes to tell us that 
Lord Shiva doesn't like Kamdev. <laughs> that means if you want to stay close to him and if you have Kamdev with you, then he will burn you. His third eye will open and he will rip you apart. Not apart, he will make you into ashes. <laughs> that means when you are chanting Om Shivaya Nama, you have to be perfectly out of the desire of sexuality, which is a very highly elevated state of a yogi, a paramhamsa, pure devotee of God, which is not for the normal beings like people that we see around. <laughs> Perfect celibacy is required if you want to chant this mantra, Om Shivaya Nama. But if you do not have that, if you have a trace, a tinge, a dot of a desire for sexual enjoyment, even a dot I am saying, I am not saying if you are a sex addict or if you are a sex hungry monster, I am not saying that. Even if you have a drop, trace of attraction towards the opposite sex, if you chant that mantra, Om Shivaya Nama, it will destroy you completely. Because you are saying, Lord Shiva, I want to stay close to you. And then what is happening? Lord Shiva is telling, okay, come near me. But the problem is you have come there. <laughs> and then his third eye opens and Lord Shiva says, oh, you have come there with you. I am going to burn you. I don't like you. There you go. <laughs> and then I told the person that, you are, you are wreaking havoc in your life. Please do not chant this mantra. Once in a blue moon you have seen somewhere and you, you, you said Om Shivaya Nama. That's different. But do not concoct mantras and change them as per your whimsical attire of the mind. Okay, I like this way. I like it that way. Why do you have to apply your own brain? You do not do that with medical. You do not do that with engineering. You do not do that with anything even with astrology you don't do that do you say okay maybe uh, seventh house has one planet maybe his spirituality will be like that you don't say like that that will have effect in the ma in the marriage not in spirituality it can have effects in some cases if the seventh that planet is linked with the ninth house but that's a separate issue so if we do not whimsically approach things for the mundane level i am saying the doctor doesn't go on whimsically telling that, okay, now maybe I should uh, cut his ear first, then maybe I should cut his neck, then I should cut his throat now for some operation. I don't know what. <laughs> There's proper defined procedures for everything in this world. And so is for spirituality, for upliftment, for growth. Because the mantra connects you to a higher level, which you cannot understand in this level. But that happens. So many millions of people have been benefited from time and eternity why are you not getting benefited because maybe you are not doing it properly and what to speak of doing a wrong mantra it is like it's like <laughs> willingly drinking poison so similarly as i said this video is not about which mantra should i chant what should i do what should i not that can only be done in a personal consultation with me or with somebody else but my point is do not for sake of the heavens do not twist the mantra as per what you like or what you don't like. And then that person told me that he lost his job. This happened, that happened and he had a divorce and he's in debt now. Nobody's helping him. These are typical symptoms of Lord Shiva burning you. Now, somebody may say, oh, this is just a coincidence. Well, let them tell what whatever they want to say. Because the fact of the matter is the moment he stopped chanting that and he restarted chanting Om Namah Shivai. Then what happened? His life came into order. He's very happy now. <laughs> that's that's the proof. That's the power of the mantra. You see? Therefore, we may not be able to chant Om Namah Shivai, but at least please do not chant Om Shivai Namah. <laughs> or maybe do not manufacture some mantra from your side. Okay, let me tap the power of... Uh, Krishna, Shiva and uh, Ram all together. Om Shiva Rama Krishna and Rama. My God. <laughs> do not do this. You are not supposed to make the rules of that realm. The rules are already there. You are simply to follow it. 
and if you follow you will have enlightenment all right that is what i wanted to say please be careful the next time do not twist the mantra and do not change it as per what appears good to your ears or to your eyes okay until next time wish you good luck with your mantras bye bye see you